So yesterday we study about all our universe, solar system, and planets. And today study in study topic is some way about moon and about uh, comets, and that's why it was left. So today we will study about that one, and after that we will uh, we will start our session by uh, studying that uh, latitude, longitude, and uh, we will study about the motion of the earth, that rotation and revolution, and how all these seasons uh, changes are taking place. So for all those we will study after finishing of this uh, about universe. So yesterday we were like we were in the Neptune part. So about Neptune we had to study everything. That uh, why it is known as blue planet, and what are the gases present on it? That uh, at Neptune's at atmosphere is made up of what? Which are the gases? And how many moons does it have? And which one is the? Uh, which one is the long, longest moon of this Neptune? So now today we will study with moon. So okay, see moon is the only satellite of our Earth. So moon is a Earth's natural satellite and it is at distance of 3,384,000 3, kilometers from the Earth. So the Moon makes a complete orbit around the Earth in about 27.32 Earth days. So Moon, suppose if this is the Earth, then Moon is revol revolving around the Earth. So Moon takes 27.32 days to revolve around the Earth. Earth and rotates or spins at the same time. So and at the same time also, same time that means nearby 28 days, 28 days it takes the rotational period also and revolution period also both are the same day. So or if in that same amount of time, this causes the moon to keep the same side of face towards the earth during the course of its orbit. So Due to this same time of rotation and revolution, that makes the moon to keep its the its same side or face towards Earth during its course of its orbit. And moon, you know, why we are sending lots of uh, like Chandrayaan uh, on the moon? So the, that moon is because it's it is a rocky solid surface. The moon has a rocky and solid surface, and it it has very uneven surface. So that's why we are able to land all our Chandrayaan and everything. The moon has a very thin and tenuous, that is weak atmosphere, that is called an exosphere. So like Earth has the layers of atmosphere, so in that layers of atmosphere in Earth, we, we can see that exosphere is the last at atmosphere layer of the Earth. So that ex in that exosphere, we have the, we have our Natural satellite that is moon. So it it is the only celestial body beyond the earth that is, has been visible by human being. So only celestial body which, which has been visible by human beings that is moon. And others all this, this uh, celestial body we are not able to see. So okay now about tide and everything we will study later part that is in climatology we will study. So now see. Now we will study about the meteorites. So meteorites, they, they might vary in size. See, when universe got formed, see, when universe got formed, that universe was huge. So after that universe was huge, that uh, first before that it was in molten state. So after that, when it was formed, it was distributed, it was broken into many parts. So in that many parts, we can say that we have our stars, we have our galaxy, stars, then we have our planets, then some other parts also that that gaseous materials or some rocky materials that broke and that were not able to, that were, their size were not that much able to make a planet or solar system or you can say galaxy. So that a smaller parts that that is known as meteorites. So we have meteorites and also we have comets also. So that comets will study Data part this comet is a dust. You can say this is a dust. So meteorites that they vary in size from tiny grains to large boulders. So they are they are large boulders, but they are not as big as like planets. So they are less size than the planets. So one of the largest meteorites found in on the Earth is the Hoba 
Hova, sorry, Hova meteorite from southwest Africa, which weighs roughly 54,000 kg. So, largest meteorite is Hova meteorites. So, meteorite showers are usually named after a star or constellation. So, we study about all those stars uh, and constellation we studied. So, meteorites, they are, they are, their showers usually named after a star of constellation, which is close to the gradient. So, meteorites and meteorites being as meteorites, which are little chunk of rocks and cabbage in space. So, most of the meteorites are either iron or stony or stony iron. So, they are either iron or stony or stony iron. So, meteorites means what? They are a smaller particle, but you can take it as large boulder also. But they, they don't have size as big as planets uh, to, uh, to make that boulders to be called as planets. So they have the lesser size. So that is meteorite. Okay, now we can see it. Now in our solar system, we study about this asteroid belt. This is the asteroid belt. Okay, this is the asteroid belt. And see, what is Kuiper belt? See, now we, we have a study of what is asteroid belt. That is uh, that belt between the Mars and Jupiter. Then what is Kuiper belt? That Kuiper belt is outer of that planet. We have a, see, we have dwarf, dwarf planet also. So after that, our, this so inside the solar system, after our all planets, like last planet is Neptune. So after this planet, there is a line. There is a line between uh, that uh, Neptune planet and all other materials. See, uh, when it was, if when our universe got exploded, there were many particles. So many small particles are also there. So that they are called as dwarf planet or asteroids or meteorites or comets. So that all those particles, only asteroid belt is located between the Mars and Jupiter, and all other particles they are located located outside the out outside of the this uh, planet system. So there is a line between those. Like you from the suppose this, this is a Neptune, so there is a line, there is a line, so that is known as Kuiper line. So that we used to say that Kuiper belt. So that is Kuiper belt, and it is the distance. It is at the distance of 50 astronomical unit. Then one more thing. One more thing is Kerman line. See Kerman line. What you used to say that is after we see our Earth has atmosphere. So after that exosphere. After exosphere, there is a line that line is known as thermal line. So that after that exosphere, that all uh, smaller particles will uh, will be shown. Uh, that is a small uh, dust or particles like comets and asteroids, uh, comets and meteorites. So they just uh, there is a line to locate it. So that is thermal line. And what is Kuiper belt? That is after the Neptune. So Kuiper belt, thermal line. Don't get it confused. And one more thing is asteroid belt. Now, next one is the comets. So, comets, what is comets? They are the cosmic snowball or frozen gases. They are small, smaller particles, very small, even smaller than the meteorites also. So, they are like dust. They are like dust. So, they are cosmic snowball or frozen gases or uh, you can say rocky dust. So, this is comets. So, that's all we have finished about the universe solar system. Now, we will start a study, a studying about the Earth. Now we will study about our uh, Earth and in that we will study longitude, latitude and also we will study all time, all time zones and uh, how seasons and uh, seasons, day and night, all those changes are taking place. That we will study in this, now in this slide. So if any doubt in the universe, you can ask it, you can ask from me. Now, any doubt in the universe or solar system or planets, we will do any doubt anyone. Thank you. Yes. Uh, what is meant by sunspot? Wait a minute. Skin cell. See, like uh, sun spot says, now our sun is glowing. So there is a like, uh, there is a cooler place. It's, uh, like uh, inside a layer that is photosphere. Inside that photosphere, their temperature is decreasing due to that uh, our darkness and uh, cooler place. So the temperature is decreasing. So because of that, there is a mm, dark spot. So that that dark spot is known as sunspot. That is known as 
that due to that temperature decrease decreasing and due to that uh, hidden places in the photosphere so that is sunspot understood mm -hmm. or any doubt yes, sir. okay okay now uh, now you can see my slide this latitude longitude yes sir uh, search about all those things uh, like uh, and to discover some countries or something so how they were traveling in ancient times so that see that that they were traveling because of coordinating point in ancient time they are not knowing about all these things so in now modern era they had for that only they had made some uh, particular lines that imaginary lines according to themselves and they have made the, uh, they named it as latitude and longitude so that is latitude and longitude both are imaginary lines see suppose in ancient times arab travelers they were, they wanted to travel somewhere suppose if they are here now they were not knowing about latitude and longitude if suppose if they are knowing only about longitude suppose if they know about the 30 degree longitude so where they will go if if you have if you know the both angle both latitude and longitude both they are called as coordinates. If you know the coordinates, then only you can travel somewhere. See, now this, this is the longitudinal line and this is the latitudinal line. So now we have the angle. So when if they want to go, if you know the coordinates, then only you can go to that, go to that particular place. Suppose if uh, they know the coordinates as 40 degree and uh, 40 degree, both latitude along with 40 degree. So, like how do we study in math that same times we can study. So 40 degree, both are 40 degree. So if they want to go at go to this place. So by knowing those coordinates only, they were able to travel. So for that, so not to get confused, in ancient times they are traveling. Suppose if they started from here, they start not knowing all these latitude and longitudinal lines. So they just they started from here. They started going here and there. They wanted to come to India, but they they suppose from the year they started traveling here, then here. So they had some issues. For that only for their comfortableness, they started. Uh, they explored this latitudinal and longitudinal lines, and by themselves they imagined and they made it as a latitude and longitude. So these coordinates are latitude and longitude, and so these these the both are imaginary lines. So they know that particular these both are imaginary lines. So suppose if they know the coordinates, then only by knowing the coordinates they can go to that particular place. So inside even you can see now if you are using map, Google map. So in Google map also that GPS is there. GPS. How they are acting? Because of these coordinates, coordinates of latitude and longitude. So by them, suppose if you are putting some place name, suppose our see our Indian standard time is on 82 and half degree east, that is in Mirjapur. So, suppose if they want to come to Mirjapur, so how they will come to me? So, they, this east and they also have the one, one more that is longitude, they also have longitude coordinates. So, by that, they are locating at a particular coordinates, then. They are able to travel to that particular place. So that that is due to the latitude and longitude. So these both are known as coordinate system. See, latitude and longitude are imaginary lines. Latitude and longitude coordinate system are imaginary lines used to determine the location of a place of on Earth. So the location of like New Delhi is 28 degree north latitude and 77 degree east longitude. So because of that only, because of these two, because of these two position only, they are able to locate the Delhi at a particular place. See, now we know that our Earth is not fully sphere; it is in geoid shape. Like from up, it is flattened. In this northern hemisphere, it is flattened, and also in the south southern hemisphere, it is flattened. And at the both side, it is bulged. Like eastern evasion side, both sides it is bulged. So in equators. So now this they have drawn that imaginary lines that longitude, latitude, and longitude they have drawn. So now you can study here roughly. Okay. They have drawn this line. So in this line, this this side is western hemisphere, 
This one is eastern. Then this one is southern hemisphere. And this one is northern hemisphere. So in this way, from the equator, they have divided. So now we have finished about the latitude, longitude. Now we will study about, first we will study what is latitude. We now will study that practically, that's how they explored latitude and longitude. So latitude are also known as parallel. So latitude, why we call it parallel? See, because suppose if we draw a circle, see latitude are horizontal lines. This is equator. So this, these horizontal lines are latitude and longitudes are vertical lines. Longitude are vertical lines. So latitude lines, see, if they draw, actually, okay, see, equator. So now if they are drawing the latitude, that is straight. So that they are parallel to each other. So that's why we call, we call latitude as parallel. And so since they are moving straight and they are parallel, so they won't intersect each other. So latitude also known as parallel, they never intersect each other. Then let you see, now our earth is in geoid shape. Earth is in geoid shape, so here, here at this southern hemisphere, northern hemisphere, it is fully flattened. So now at equator, we have the longer distance. Then as we go to the northern hemisphere, then this distance will keep on decreasing. So latitude, now from this, we can define that latitudes are not of the same length. And I'll see latitude are not same length. Now see latitude are ang angles of distance from the center. So they are the angular distance from the center. So uh, now this is the center. So they are the angular distance. Now you see our earth, our earth is fully tilted. Now if you see on the globe also, suppose if you study the globe, if you study the globe, actually if now, now make it in that. So that, that both points should be the, now if you wanted to see if a, it should be, it would have been a straight line, then it should have been like, like a straight line. But if you see the globe also, that is like, uh, that line is like, so earth is, earth is tilted on its axis. So that earth is due to that tiltness, what is happening here? Now, why we gave the name that all the, those uh, topic of cancer, topic of Capricorn, that 23 and a half degrees. See, now we are at equator, at the center. The equator, this is as zero degree. So from the, here, suppose this is 23 degree. So from here, if we draw a line, so that this angle is 23 and a half degree. So that's why we, we have named it as 23 and a half degree, 66 and a half degree, 90 degree. Now see, this is the straight line. So this is making a full 90 degree. So that's why we have named it as 90 degree, 23 and a half degree, 66 and a half degree. So this is the main reason. Because of tiltness of earth, that angle is changing. So that is because of tiltness of earth, we have made all those angles. So that is 23 and a half degree, 66, 90. So all these are because of tiltness. See, latitude is the angular distance of a place north or south of the equator measured in the degrees from the center of the earth. As the earth is slightly flattened at the poles and the linear distance of degree of latitude at the pole is a little longer than the at the equator. So that linear distance is the little longer at the curve. The linear distance of a degree of latitude at the pole is little longer than the that at equator. Suppose if this is the earth, now we have the equator. So we are drawing this line. So now see, we are going like so linear distance means this one, name. this one it is same. So here at the poles, we have a point. So here now if you are drawing of globals or something, see this one if you are drawing like this angle. So from here, see linear distance here it is more and here it is less. So that's what is saying that linear distance of a degree of latitude at the pole is little longer than the than at the equator. This is about the equator. Sorry, this is about the latitude. 
so now also we will study about the total see from here from equator from actually the distance between now this is the earth so this is zero degree we have here 90 degree and here 90 degree so from here zero degree to here like if you take this as one degree so that distance between these both latitudinal lines that is distance average distance is 111 kilometers that i mentioned here that average distance is 111 kilometers see that is average distance but if we see as we go so that uh, now we are studying in this part here we are studying here see the linear distance of a degree of latitude at the pole is little longer than at the equator so as we go up that linear distance is high uh, is little longer at the pole so see as we go up or if we, as we go down in southern hemisphere as you go up to the northern hemisphere so from that equator equator that gap is 100 that 1 degree is equal to 110.56 that 1 degree is equal to 110.567 kilometer that only if you see a tropic of cancer that distance is 110.948 kilometer and, uh, and uh, as you go up we study and that it is that linear distance is a little longer so at the pole that distance between that one degree is 111 point 699 kilometer this is 699 kilometer so this is about the distance so a uh, questions might be asked from this one also so i study about this one also average distance is 111 kilometer but if they ask that at equator one degree equal to how much kilometer so it is 110 at topic of cancer it is 110.9.948 at the pole it is 111.69 kilometer and see now we will study about how many lines are there, latitudinal lines are there. Actually, I have mentioned here in the slide also. Now we will see in this part here. This is earth. So this is equator. This is zero degree. So all those horizontal lines are latitude. So horizontal lines are latitude. And here at the end, at the, in the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere, it is flattened. So this is a point. This pole, pole both 90 degree is a point. Both 90 degree is a point. So if they ask how many latitudes are there, so latitude means here this zero degree one plus from here to southern hemisphere 90, then from here to northern hemisphere 90 latitudes. So totally there are 181 latitudes. So if they ask how many number of latitudes are there, that is 181. But if they are asking that how many latitudinal lines are there, so see now zero degree is a line, one degree line, two degree line, so like lines are there. But this 90 degree, both sides in the northern hemisphere and both in the southern hemisphere, this 90 degree is not a line. This these both are a point. So this point will be a two day. So that means if they ask latitudinal lines. So number of latitudinal lines that is 179 because these both are point. So 181 minus 2. So that is 179. So latitudinal lines are 179 and total number of latitude is 181. So clear with this. See the four important parallels of latitudes are top and topic of cancer, three and a half degree, topic of Capricorn, Arctic Circle, Antarctic Circle. This is equator. So here here at 23 and half degree 23 and half degree north we have arctic circle then at here in the southern side 23 and half degree south we have tropic of capricorn and 66 and half degree south we have antarctic circle so these are the four important parallels of latitude so important parallels of latitude here now this is a equator so equator topic of cancer then here we have the 66 and half degree so here in middle we have the arctic circle and here in topic of capricorn then also then we have the antarctic circle then we have poles so beside the equator geodegree the north pole 90 degree north and the south pole 90 degree south there are four important parallels of latitude so that is topic of cancer 
in the northern hemisphere, Tropic of Capricorn in the southern hemisphere, then Arctic Circle in the northern hemisphere, and Antarctic Circle in the southern hemisphere. So uh, remember about this parallel. Now we will study about the latitudinal heat zones of Earth. See, now this is this is our sun. This is our Earth, which is revolving around the sun. So see, now sunlight. If that sunlight is coming, it will go like this. So that how we, because of this sunlight radiation of sunlight only we have divided our earth that latitudinal into heat zones. So this here, this equator. Now since this sunlight is falling directly onto the equator, it's falling directly. That light is coming directly see here. It is coming directly. So and our earth is tilted. So at the equator we have hot and humid temperature. So this is known as torrid zone. So this may it, it receives maximum heat. So this is torrid zone both uh, at the equator that uh, below the Tropic of Cancer equator and uh, Tropic of Can Capricorn equator. So this area is torrid zone known as torrid zone. Now see now as we go up since it is tilted. So here this area after that Tropic of Cancer area this area is receiving less amount of sunlight. That how see at equator they are receiving a large amount of sunlight maximum so that's why maximum heat. now it is receiving less amount of sunlight so it will be somewhat cooler than this place so and uh, at pole we are receiving very very less amount of sunlight so that's why here this this one is in fully like uh, you can say we, we are seeing at uh, Arctic or Antarctic after Arctic or Antarctic we are seeing glacier so this is because of not receiving sunlight. So this zone is known as frigid zone and this zone is known as temperate zone it's because here we have less temperature that is less than torrid zone but we have more than the frigid zone. So this is temperate zone, this is torrid zone and this is frigid zone. So see the median sun is exactly over overhead at least once a year on all latitudes in between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. So this area therefore receives the maximum heat. So that area which receives the maximum heat is called as the torrid zone. And the area, the midday sun never shines overhead on any latitude beyond the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. So that midday sun will not shines overhead. That is, it is shining overhead on equator, but not on after the Tropic of Cancer. So the angle of sun rays goes on decreasing towards the poles. So that angle is will be going on decreasing. So this zone is known as temperature. At least going, uh, as it is going on decreasing, this is a, since it is receiving some amount of sunlight, so this is temperate zone because there will be some heat. But this area, at the pole area, only little amount of light is reaching there. So because of that, that is frigid zone. As such, the area is bounded by the Tropic of Cancer and the Arctic Circle, the Tropic of Capricorn and Antarctic Circle have moderate temperature. So these are known as temperate zones and after that area lying beyond the arctic circle and the antarctic circle are very cold so area lying beyond those circles are very cold so here sun does not rise much above the horizon therefore its rays are always slanting because of that this is see here, here rays are slanting so that's why it it, it, it uh, that sun does not rise much above the region so this area are known as frigid zones so now we are studying about the torrid zone, temperate zone, and frigid zone. Don't get confused with, with all this. Okay. Now that's all with latitudes. So how many lines are there? Latitudinal lines. That is one. Sorry, latitudes are one eighty one. And latitudinal lines are one seventy nine. So don't get confused. So okay. Now we have finished about the latitudes. And because of that latitudes. There are some other phenomena also taking place as we said in the later part when we are studying about the motions of the earth. Now see, now we are coming to the meridians. That meridians, see, now this, all these lines, latitudinal lines are also known as parallel. And now what is happening? Now we are dividing our earth into the two parts. So those, all those vertical lines are known as longitudes. And longitudes are also known as 
longi fruits are also known as meridians and why we have named it as meridians see when it was when we wanted to decide our time zones so when we are deciding our time zones in ancient times see british were ruling at every places so they decided their place london there is a there is a village in that uh, london that is greenwich village village in london greenwich so they they decided that that greenwich should be the main time zone from where we will decide that that particular place will be like a, a five hour more than our this time zone or five or less than time zone so there they decided that time zone at greenwich so that why that's why they may name it as greenwich meridian so since they named it as greenwich meridian so we call it as this zero degree the zero degree longitudes we call it as prime meridian so this is prime meridian this is known as prime meridian so longitude are also known as meridians semi great circles that join the north and south poles that meridians are semi great circles that join the north this is north and south they join the north and south poles and they are the vertical lines they are measured in degrees in relation to the prime meridian so they are measured in relation to the prime meridian they are used as a reference to determine the longitude so these meridians are used as a reference to determine the longitude okay now we will study what is longitude or meridian see longitude as uh, is an angular distance of places east or west see latitude we add is north uh, sorry this is latitudinal lines so this longitude uh, longitudinal lines will be here lines so they will be placing like here this is eastern side western side so here they will be placing east or west of the prime meridian so this is prime meridian this is prime meridian so they will be placing either east or either west of the prime meridian measured in degrees from the center of the earth so see here now this is the this is the our line that is zero degree that is green or greenish meridian that is prime meridian so here this side we have all these these lines are latitudinal lines sorry longitudinal lines that all those vertical lines are longitudinal lines and all these parallel lines or all these horizontal lines are latitude so okay see we we have seen here that in 1884 they named in 1884 this time zones were decided so in 1884 we decided that green which meridian will be the prime meridian so that zero degree will be at green which so that we uh, decided in 1884 so time zones from here only from london it was decided now we will study mostly about longitudes see this is our earth so here we have our zero degree so this year from here this all these vertical lines are longitude so since there we can call these longitudes as a semicircle so since it is traveling in the same side so we can say that it can intersect each other see we, you would have studied that lines so see if it is going parallel it will never intersect each other so that's why latitude are parallel and the longitudes it is going in semicircle type so if it is going in semicircle types so if both the longitude it will take then it will intersect each other so uh, longitudes first property is they will intersect each other so if, because they are not parallel so they, they will intersect each other and here what is happening see in latitude we have seen that earth is flattened and latitudes are going as we go up it is that uh, linear distance is, is going uh, goes on in decreasing sorry goes on increasing and this all these distance length of these lines goes on decreasing so see here now in longitude what is happening it is forming a semicircle so here since it is forming a semicircle so they are of the same length they are see they are not uh, being located at lines 
so anywhere if we go like and inside that circle is a PS if you form those again circles, semicircular semi circles, so there is your same length. So longitude are of same length. And if question stops, how many longitudes are there? So see, this is our earth. Now this is our zero degree. So here we are drawing one degree longitude, one degree longitude in the eastern side, the western side, and eastern side is one degree again. So from here to here, we have 180 longitude. Then from here to here, we have another 180 degree longitude. So total 180 plus 180, it became totally, we have 360 longitude. And in the latitude, see in latitude, we had how much? We had totally 120 latitude lines because we had these two points. But what is happening in longitude? See, this one, this one also can be called uh, called, uh, called as a longitudinal lines. So this one will be also counted. So totally we have we have the same number of latitude, uh, longitude, and also same number of like longitudinal lines. So totally we have 360. And latitude we have totally 181, and latitudinal lines we have 179. So see, it was decided in 1884 to choose the median which passes through the Royal Astronomical Observatory at Greenwich, near London, as the zero median or prime median. So zero, zero degree longitude known as prime median. All other meridians radiate eastwards and westwards of the prime median up to 180 degree. So we have totally 360 longitude and 360 longitude lines. Unlike the parallels of latitude, the medians of longitude are of equal length that we studied. Medians of longitude have one more, one very important function that they determine the local time. So, which, which line determine the local time that is longitude. So, if question, question comes about the which line determine the time that is longitude. So, which is local time in relation to green, which mean time which is sometimes referred as the wall time. So this green which mean time is referred as the wall time. Now see here, longitude, now we will study about the time, how we are deciding our time zone. So see here, totally we have how many? Circle, so now if you take this as a circle, so totally inside it we have totally 360 degree. Okay, and earth is rotating, that rotation is taking place, so that is 23 hours, 23 hours, 56 minutes and 56 minutes and 4 seconds. So in round off, we will, we are taking it as 24 hours. So for rotation on its axis, it is taking 24 hours and total this angle is 360 degree. So 24 hours, so if we divide it by 24, so in 1 degree, sorry, so for 1 hour, it will be 15 degree. If you divide it like this, so for one hour it will be 15 degree. So one hour means we have 60 minutes. 60 minutes equal to 15 degree. So in one degree we have time as four minutes. Remember th this formula. This easily you can also calculate by yourself. So remember this one. So one degree means four minutes or 15 degree means one hour. And 24 hour means 360 degree. See, 1 degree equal to 4 means this, if you know this, then you will be able to calculate the time in other parts. Suppose, uh, uh, we are the, uh, we are like uh, plus 5.30 hours ahead of in which time. So, how that is deciding, that is in later part, because of uh, our location of that uh, time zones in our India. So, that we will see, how we will study in that. This will be useful. This 1 degree equal to 4 minutes, this will be useful. Since the earth makes one complete rotation of 360 degree in one day or 24 hours, it passes through 15 degree in one hour or one degree in four minutes. See here. So this you can easily understand that uh, how it is in, in one degree we get it as four minutes. So if we make it, we if we calculate do the math, mathematical calculation, then we get one degree equal to four minutes. The earth rotates from west to east. east. So every 15 degree we go eastwards, local time is advanced by one hour. So that 
earth is rotating from west to east see in uh, our olden times even in da if you could, if you would have studied question would have asked that if we go from west to east so we are gaining or losing a day see here now since it is rotating west to east so as we go eastwards so if you go eastwards like this is west so as you go in go eastwards so our time will be advanced by one hour so it will be advanced by one hours that means suppose if uh, here it is uh, 12 uh, 12 pm or you can take it as 12 am sorry you can now take as 11 30 pm the in the western side so if you go here if you come this side it will be 12 30 so if it will be 12 30 that means now here it is uh, date is 11th pm so here if you will come here it will be 12th pm so here what is happening that one day is increasing so because of that you can say that don't get confused that since uh, that day is increasing so we are gaining a day no we are losing a day because see here it is only 11th here we only 11th and here we are coming it is becoming 12th so we are losing a day because now again if we come this side then here it will be only 11 say only so we are losing a day if we are coming uh, west to east that in the study in the international deadline also. okay this was about our time and uh, at green which meridian we are studied that that was decided as our time zone from there only we are deciding that whether uh, our country or like country like america or that will be ahead or behind the time zone So from there, that you take at is at in which. So now we will study about the interaction date line. In this one, we will be able to know about this that the uh, west is uh, we are gaining, we are losing a day, and east to west we are gaining a day. So they are here in the study. The interaction date line. See, this is the bearing straight. This is the bearing straight. Now if is if you see the world map, there you will be seeing. there you will be seeing this zigzag line this uh, straight bearing axis so that is zigzag line so that is intersection date line so that the intersection date line is an imaginary line that passes through pacific ocean so from this you can know that that bearing straight is in pacific ocean so along the intersection date date line the date changes by exactly one day when it is crossed so if you cross this side or if you cross this side the date is changed by one day either we are gaining or losing the gaining and losing we will study here the next part see a traveler crossing the date line from east to west east to west loses a day and while crossing the date line from west to east he gains a day see according to time zones that day is not decided but we can study see here i i teach you that how we our time zones are decided see suppose if this is the line this is 0 degree meridian and we we are at 82 and 1/2 degree east so we are at 82 and 1/2 degree east peak we have our time zone at 82 and 1/2 degree east and uh, it is decided that now we can know that how we we are decided that we are ahead of green wish time by Plus five thirty hours. How it is? How we are this, uh, that much away ahead of uh, that uh, particular time time zone? So see, we are at eighty two and half degree east. That our time zone is decided at eighty two and half degrees. So one degree equal to four minutes. So we, if we multiply by eighty two and into four, then it will be equal to three twenty eight and plus half degree. So one degree equal to four minutes. That means half degree will be two degree. So three twenty eight plus two. So totally it will be three thirty minutes. So eighty two eighty two and half degree is equal to three thirty minutes. So three thirty minutes. If we if we change this into hours, then we will we'll get five thirty hours. So from that from that uh, day, uh, time zone only, it is decided that we are ahead plus. 5:30 hours because of our 
location. We are located 82 and half degree east. So from there it is decided that we are 530 hours ahead. Now international date line. So dot get confused date line and time zones. So that our date line is decided in this gating state in the Pacific Ocean. Where is this time line is in? Time line is in Atlantic Ocean. In the answer that uh, time line is in Atlantic Ocean. The Greenwich Meridian. So don't get confused. So here in the answer, our international date line. So it is decided that if we cross along the international date line. Suppose this is the international date line. So if we cross to the eastern side, along with that date change exactly one day when it is crossed. So if we cross from west to east, then we are gaining a day. Suppose this, this is the date line and if we are crossing west to east, so this is the date line. Now this is western side, this is eastern side. So west to east, we are crossing this side, so we are gaining a day. So from west to east, if we are crossing, we are gaining a day. And and from east to west, if you are crossing, we are losing a day. So this is uh, this is date line. Suppose now we, we are here. Now you can study in this also, this timeline also. This way. now this is our longitude and this is our latitude. So now this is western side, this is eastern side. So eastern side from here, if you are crossing this side. So we are gaining a day. Why are you gaining a day? Now see, if here, here in suppose it is 12, 12 fair, and we are, we are crossing this side, then we are getting it as 11 fair only. So here we are gaining a day. Actually it is decreasing, but we are gaining a day because again, if we be here at this place only, then again that 12th fair will come. We have come from here for at 12th fair only, on 12th fair only, but here in the community is 11th fair. So again after 24 hours, it will be 12th fair. So we are gaining a day this side. And if from here we are crossing to this side, so here it is 12th fair. Suppose here it is 10th fair and we are crossing to the eastern side, it is, it is becoming 11th fair. So here what is happening that date is changing. So that we are losing a day. It is increasing but we are losing a day because here again we will not able to get the same day that 10. We have started from here on 10 but we are reaching here on 11. So but we will not able to get, uh, get that day of 10. So that means our time will be gone. So we here from west to east, west to east, west to east if we are going then we are gaining a day. And east to west, we are losing a day. Don't get confused with this thing. One degree is here, see, from east, west to east is going, is a gaining a day. And east to west is going, is losing a day. Our earth is totally lies and it is being folded. We are trying that uh, latitude along, it is being folded. So that west to west, that will be folded. So there it will be. Change that's for because of that, only we have decided this as international date line so that we will not get confused that which one is the west or which one is the east. So, from here, west to east, from this side, west to east, if we are going, we are gaining a day, and east to west, we are going, we are losing a day. So, one degree east, one eighty degree east is gain which mean time plus 12. So, one degree east is. That gain which mean time plus 12 and 180 degree west is gain which mean time minus 12. So hence, the difference between 180 degree east and 180 degree west is 24 hours. So, if question comes, remember this one 1 degree 180 degree is equal to gain which mean time that gain which mean time plus 12. If you see the world map, see this side we have our. Uh, this North America, then we have our South America, and here, here this is the interesting at, at Atlantic Ocean. Here, this is the interesting jet plane. Then, here we have our Europe, then Asia part is there. Here, we have our Africa. 
so here here we have africa and australia we have it here so here this date line see actually if you see on the world map that is lies but this date line is here you can see here at this place or you can say it at this place because our earth is in rounded way so if you round so that both will become here so this both can be assumed it as here so this both north america and south america can be assumed it as here so that date line is that here this is alaska and this side is Russia. So that state line is decided between this American country and Asia, Europe, Africa, or Australia. So that since our earth is rounded, so this is the date line. So that is in the Pacific Ocean. So here Pacific Ocean is there. And this is Atlantic Ocean here. So now we will see that is the time difference on either. So this green which mean time is here. So if we are coming here lies 180 degree east green which mean time plus 12 hours. 12 hours. This is our zero degree. So zero degree longitude. So from here if you are coming lies, this is and this is as this is as, as our machine. Now this we will study the year suppose world map is like this. This is suppose this is Europe. This is, this is not perfect. This is Europe. Here we have our Asia. Here we have our Africa. And Australia is this side. So, okay. Now, this is Atlantic Ocean. And here we have our uh, time zone. That is Greenwich time. Here we have our Greenwich time in the British. So, here it is zero degree. Okay. Now, since our globe, this Earth is on a like, sphere or circular manner. So, if we fold it our uh, map. So that after this line, this North America and South America will come this side. See, so this this line is decided our as our date line. So Alaska in the North America, Russia in the South America. So this is separating the date line. And this is our bearing state. Okay. And here we have our Pacific Ocean, here we have our Atlantic Ocean. So from zero degree, since we are the deciding this as our date line we are deciding it as our date line so here zero degree it is decided so this is green which so from here to here it will be 12 hours totally it is 24 hours so we that since it is dividing that whole earth into two parts all continents into two parts so if we divide that two parts so here it will be this side 12 hours then this side it will be 12 hours so it will be 12 hours. So 180 degree eastern longitude equal to. So from here it is 12. So that is in which mean time plus 12. So it is 180 degree east equal to GMT plus 12. Then 180 degree west equal to C. Now, now if you take this side, this North America and South America. So this is 12 hours. Again 12 hours. So Western side, so 180 degree west is equal to green which mean time minus 12. Now, since uh, if we just put it in a plain paper, so this hour, this uh, now see it will become like our world map that we have seen in the map. So, this this one is western side of uh, time zone, so that will be G, green which mean time plus minus 12. So, total if we take our time as so that is 24. Hours. That is the time difference on either side of integration date line. That is 24 hours. So the date changes as soon as one crosses the integration date line. So as we cross west to east, we are gaining a day, and east to west, we are losing a day. So remember that one. And see why this integration date line is in a zigzag manner. Why we have kept it a zigzag manner? That is because country like there were many countries being located in this area like uh, Polynesia, Melanesia, Micronesia. Remember this place name. It has been asked that uh, international date line crosses through which are the places and they were given the options in this like Polynesia, Melanesia, Micronesia and one more option was Indonesia. So that uh, we, uh, in which place it is not located that is Indonesia. So remember this place name Polynesia, Mel Melanesia and Micronesia. The see, international date line is crossing from these islands. 
So what is happening that here it, it is like if you take that this is Polynesia, this is Micronesia, this is this is Melanesia, this is Micronesia. So what is happening that uh, they are the island, they are part of some of the country. So they are part of some country. Suppose if uh, if they are saying it as uh, that okay, let that uh, interaction that line be in a straight line. So if it will be in a straight line means they will have different time zones. So they will uh, they will be confused. So to make the confusion stronger, so they said that no, that line will not cross from my area. You can take it in a zigzag manner. So because of that, because of that one, this international date date line is in zigzag manner. So that international date line cross cross from the normal 180 degree median at the bearing strait that is in Pacific Ocean and at the island groups of Polynesia, Melanesia and Micronesia. So remember this place name from this because of these islands groups only that international date line becoming zigzag. They are part of some of the countries. So that particular country they are saying that no if if you cross if you go straight if you divide my that island into half then I will have different different time zones then I will I will have confusion and it will be uncomfortable to proceed for the all the processes. So because of that, they did not they did not allow to cross that deadline. So that is in zigzag manner. So if the deadline was straight, then the two regions of the same island country or island group would fall under different dead zones. Thus, to avoid any confusion of date, this line is done in zigzag manner. So this is all about the deadline and this is all about the latitudes and longitudes now we are finished about latitude and longitudes so any doubt in the latitude longitudes or time zones or interaction deadline any doubt you can ask ask for me now any doubt anyone any doubt anyone okay today we have finished all this tomorrow we will study about the motion of the earth tomorrow we will study that rotational revolution and how that day and night is changing how that seasons are changing so that we will study tomorrow so we will finish up our class with this one and today because uh, there was some technical gains because of that we have studied only this so tomorrow we will finish up our motion of the year then also we will study about interior of the year then after that we will further proceed proceed to the some other topic so we will finish up, finish it up with this one i will share the slide in the group and also if uh, someone who also they, they in the AFCAT group, anyone here who uh, studied for me geography in the AFCAT time, anyone here? Guru Vishnu, are you there? No one. Moilan, you are, you are also from AFCAT batch only, no? Moilan, are you there? Moilan, okay. Chenani, I think so, you also prepared for AFCAT. Okay. Okay, no issues. Uh, we had a study about solar system in the AFCAT group that some extra that static points are there. So, if someone have that uh, PPT, so please share in the group so that it will be useful for the other persons also who are in the CDS group, who are not there in the AFCAT group. And please study that PPT, that is some static GK are there in that uh, PPT. So, that uh, now we have finished all our solar system, latitude, longitude, everything. And if you study, if you go through that uh, PPT also, then if you include that both PPT, then we have finished all our latitudes, universe, and everything. And uh, there are some static decades, so you won't miss any portion. So just go through the PPT, then everything will be clear. And if any doubt, you can ask me. So that's all for today. We will uh, we'll finish our class with uh, this topic, and tomorrow we will uh, again proceed to the similar topic. So if anything, you can ask from me anytime. So, okay, you may leave now. Thank you. Again, we'll meet tomorrow at the same time.